All right, Bella Buddies, this is another vintage clothing haul. Uh, wait until you see these incredible clothing items and let's get started. All right, Bella Buddies, here's what I'm thinking for tonight's show. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, before I finish showing you all these beautiful items, make sure that you go down and you follow me on Whatnot. There's a link in the description. If you are new to Whatnot and you are just joining, you're gonna get 15 free dollars to shop, which is incredible. That is my referral link. So that $15 will be yours if you use that link to join. Um, let me know if you have any questions. This is just a preview, but I felt like my regular viewers, even if they don't come to the Whatnot show, would enjoy seeing these vintage clothing because they are absolutely incredible. The show will be tonight, um, looking at 9, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure that you go down below and you bookmark that. So I hope to see you all there. Again, feel free to put any questions down in the chat. The next show after this will be vintage clothing. I'm gonna work on a preview video for that. And I'm going to try to have that video scheduled for probably Tuesday night. And then you guys can go ahead and bookmark that show as well if you're interested in vintage clothing. So that's kind of what I'm thinking as of now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and let's get started. All right, so I was about to put everything away and I found another bag that I remembered that I had in the basement. Um, Jack, be quick. Look at these owls, you guys. It's a size medium. It doesn't fit me. I am going to sell it. It is just embellished. Look how cute that is. These are not vintage, but I am going to bring these. These are leather, genuine leather pants, size two. Okay, so bring in the leather pants, even though they're not vintage. I mean, they might be older, but they are made in China. So I don't think they're like current style, but because they've got the pleats in them. And I also found these that I had picked up. Don't remember where I picked these up. Design options by Philip and Jane Gordon, and they are just embellished like crazy. They may need a little bit of like TLC, but dragonflies here and butterflies on this one. They are absolutely incredible. And I've had these for a while. I can't remember where I picked them up. I was going to list them, but I just don't want to do clothing. And I'm like, these will go perfectly in my vintage show. They are made in China, but I do still believe they are vintage. So those are coming as well. I also found this bag of, I think, scarves and stuff like that. So let's check out what's in those other bags. All right, so we got two bags here. This bag here, should we start with it? pair of Pendleton right off the bat. It is a skirt. What's this? This one is, oh, here it is. Country Harvest Cloth by Cor Corbin. Pair of, looks like men's pants. We have a The Village or Villager. Is that a skirt? Oh, we got a strawberry shirt. Oh, oh, look at it. Strawberry shirt. That's another The Eagle's Eye. Seems like The Eagle's Eye has some really cool um, vintage sweaters. We have a Kinlock Anderson. Never heard of most of these brands. I've heard of Pendleton, of course. Who hasn't, right? This looks like a vintage L.L. Bean um, shirt dress. Corduroy shirt dress. That is adorable. So we got that coming. We got Asher. Asher. Um, those look men's, quite possibly. Wool pants. We've got... Another Pendleton, that looks like a pair of pants. 
And I know one bag over here had some summer stuff. Look, summer looking stuff in it. Ooh, look at this. This looks handmade. This is a quilted, um, is that quilted, right? They quilted this. Oh, look how pretty it is. It's a vest. Wow. Man, that is made really well. Oh, wow. Let's look at the back. I know these things are uh, trending right now. Like the uh, sweaters and I don't know if they'd call them a sweater, but tops. But this one's a vest. Look how beautifully made it is. Wow. That's incredible. Okay. I think it's reversible too, probably. Let's see. Yeah, definitely could be worn either way. We have a, another incredible something. <laughs> this is so exciting. This one is made by, maybe I'll get you guys the tag. Oh, um, Tony, I can't read it. Co Tony Lynn. And it is union made right there. So if you guys are uh, wondering, this means that the item is union made and it is vintage. If you ever have one of these tags, make sure to include it in your listing and your title. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, wow. It's a dress and it, it's got this cute little button. Oh, it's got two buttons. Look how cute that is. And this ruffle on the top. That's cute. All right. Let's see. We have a belt, solid brass made in the USA, just a vintage belt. We have a baby blanket, handmade, I'm assuming. All right, this feels like some sort of pajamas. Pajama, pajama. This one is Vanity Fair, size medium. It's red. I think it's one of those house coat type deals. Yes, it is. And, oh, there's still stuff in here. There's still stuff in here. Oh, what's this? This is a, um, lucky winner. Made in the USA shirt. And then we have a Orvis made in the USA. That's a fishing company, right? Let's see this one does have some yellowing and stuff on the arms but it's a another shirt dress all right let's grab another bag all right i did find some vintage fabric um i may bring that tonight i might not it just looks like i think this is a handmade dress so i threw that in with the fabric and then these are just two pieces of fabric um i found some vintage pantyhose so I'll bring those. Let's look through this bag here. This is a Schrader Sport New York Talbots. It looks like some sort of long dress. We have strawberry shortcake. Life is delicious. It does have some staining on it. I'm guessing that's probably forever and not coming out so fyi but still too cute not to not to sell somebody could even make something with this or i don't know if you can like can you like touch stuff with bleach and just do certain areas would that work because it is white we have this beauty another dress this one is by um sea waves Look at those colors, it's beautiful. This one here is a Lands Originals dress. So these are more summery items. Um, this one right here is really cool. I think it has some yellowing. It's the Lily by Lily Pulitzer. But somebody may be interested in this as a pattern because it is so cool. I feel like I remember there was something wrong with it, but maybe not. I, I think I washed this bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I ran it through the wash. I didn't do any uh, stain treatments on it, but you can see right here. But I am going to still bring it and see if anybody is interested. But it does have issues. You know, a lot of times when things are white like that, you know, it's hard to... Hard to get the staining out. It's got some yellowing up here, but still a really uh, 
interesting piece for sure. This is another polka dot and green dress. And this one is by, I have no idea, Jenny. And this is some sort of, looks like a Hawaiian dress. Royal Hawaiian, made and styled in Hawaii. If I remember correctly, there is something on the front of this one as well. Um, it was hard right here. It's hard to see because it kind of blends in with the coloring, but um, I did try to wash that one. This is back before I was like, I'm like, I'm gonna list some of this stuff. And then I decided I don't wanna list any of this. Here is a Princeton ringer. Ha! Huh? Look how cool that is. It's champion size 10, 12. So it is a, uh, a kid's, vintage tea. I don't know if kids vintage teas have a market, but Princeton, isn't that a pretty uh, fancy college? That's fun, right? Looks like it's got a little stain right there. And I'll look through this stuff as we go. Um, we got a little, uh, oh wow, a Swiss dot, I think is what they call it, or dotted Swiss dress, baby dress. Um, that should really go into my, I think I'm going to put that one in my kids show. So I'm going to put that one to the side because I'm going to be having a kids show soon. So we'll pull that over to the side. This is a vintage YMCA. Oh my goodness. Single stitch YMCA t-shirt. Um, it is uh, screen shares or screen something. I can't remember. Screen stars maybe. Look at it. You guys, I went to the YMCA when I was a kid. Holy cow. That's so cool. Uh, this looks like another uh, kids item that will be in the kids show. I will do a, um, I'm going to do a video on the, the kids clothing also, because I think that also helps you guys learn about vintage clothing. I'm not an expert, but people can leave comments and that's going to help everybody learn. So again, all the adult clothing is coming to whatnot tonight. I should have enough for another long show tonight. Um, I have a hard time getting off there once I get started. I don't see a tag on this one. This is some sort of um, black polka dot. Uh, I don't know if it's polyester or what, but it's, it's really, uh, really snazzy. Don't see a tag. Here's another one that's kind of that same material. It's really cool. Let me see here. I know you guys like tags. Miss Klaus. So that's really cool. And that's it in the bag. So let's grab another bag. All right, so this right here, I'm not sure if these are vintage or not. They say Ralph Lauren made in Indonesia. So they're a pair of like polo Ralph Lauren sleep pants. This um, polo jeans company, a little high waist button, uh, button fly, Ralph Lauren jeans, uh, yellow shorts. Those are cool, right? I did find this pattern. So I'm going to bring it. Why not? Right. Uh, simplicity VIP. So we got that. I did show this the other night. There were no takers on it, but it is incredible. It's like a little, um, this was my first show and I didn't have a huge turnout. So I think some of you that came to my second show may be interested in some of these items. English Village. All right, the kids stuff, I am gonna pull out here real quick and put them to the side. So I am gonna be having a kids show and these are some of the items I showed the other night, but I really had more of a adult audience. So those are coming back. This over here is all kids stuff. I'm gonna do another preview video. Um, but back to the adult stuff, we have this shirt that says Ryder. It is a Artex, it is um, single stitch, but it's a very small size. That's a kid's dress. We have um, this beauty, which is by Maddie and Lynn Penavore or something. I don't know, what's that say? Penelovoy, Penelovoy dress. It's a longer dress. We have um, this right here, which is a single stitch t-shirt. 
That's going to go with baby stuff. We have this really cool, um, I think it's handmade, some sort of like dress. Here is another dress. This one is made by the American Shirt Dress, made in the USA. This is Anthony Richards. Looks like another uh, type of red dress. We have this vintage Cats Broadway musical, Fruit of the Loom, made in the USA sweatshirt. I have this Hard Rock Cafe sweatshirt. This is definitely for a crafter. It's got stains on it, but the actual patch looks really good and the colors are great. So I am going to bring that, see if anyone's interested. Here is a Clemson um, vintage tee. I think maybe it's a college single stitch. It does have some fading on it, which is, you know, pretty typical of vintage stuff. We have this Alaska sweatshirt. Hanes Vintage. This is kids. We're going to put that to the side. We have this incredible um, sledding Woolrich shirt. I think it had a defect right here. It would need stitched up. It's got a hole, but that is an easy fix for somebody who uh, does stuff like that. So that is amazing. I have these owl shirts that nobody was interested in the other night. So I, I'll bring them just in case. Um, they'd be a nice like sleep shirt. They are single stitch. Um, but they do have different tags. Another red polka dot dress. And I'll show you guys these way better during the show. I'm just doing a quick preview. This one is by... Um, bug off. It's a little cute skirt. Look at this. That is going into the kids show. Here is a blouse. And here is another shirt dress, I think. This one is by something sports. Shri that's another Schrader, Schrader or something. Sports. We have... Just amazingness right here. Nantucket two-piece outfit. Looks like a skirt and a shirt. We have another, oh, this is a Houston three skirt. That is a kid's item. A clout, chouse, chouse, um, blouse, chouse blouse. That is kids. This is kids. Those will be going to the kids show. You guys, the kids show is going to be incredible. I just got to tell you. That's going to the kids show. Uh, this is Sears Bazaar. And it is a long flannel or what do you call that? Wool skirt. It's incredible. We have this Pendleton Right here, there is a little clip in the tag. Horse shirt, is that a horse? I think it's a horse, I'm gonna call it a horse. Another um, plaid kilted skirt right there. We got some vintage lingerie. We have a jerseys made in the USA. Oh, well, single stitch. Evan Pacone skirt. Uh, this is another just blouse. Ooh, look at the, the neckline. Phase closet. It goes up the side of the shoulder. Here's another uh, blouse. Laura and Jane. Here is a vintage Woolrich men's, or men's maybe? Maybe it's women's polo. I'm gonna bring this. This also has issues, but I just think it's really cool. The graphic, it says Nova Scotia, and it does have staining on it, but it's something freestyle sportswear, I think. But it's got some staining and stuff, so we'll talk about that more later. And that's, let's see. Bonjour, I think this says. This was at my first show, and it is a crop top. 
Do we want to get into this bag? That is not vintage. That's something I threw on the top. Okay. So, um, this is a bag of scarves. This is that, um, cashmere top. I was getting ready to ship it and I found some holes in it. So I've been trying to reach out to the person that bought it. So check your messages. If you bought this, I found some little holes in it right here on the side that I did not see when I was showing it. So I am going to put this to the side in case you still want it. And, um, Hopefully uh, you get my message on uh, whatnot. These are those scarves that we never had a chance to go through. This pink, um, this was that single tee that somebody bought. The payment never went through, so I'm bringing that back. We have a Evan Pacone union made skirt. This is kids. Some of these things are repeat, but I think there was some other stuff down in the bottom here that was not. Uh, Chica Berry dress. Another black skirt. Let's see. A Talbot's vintage skirt. This was kids. I'm going to put that to the side. So I think there was some... Most of these are repeats. The baby stuff is going to go with the baby show. I feel like there was some stuff down here I didn't get to. Did I get to this dress? Or did we stop? I'll just show it to you guys. It is a Kono size 12 plaid dress. Um, another scarf. This is a kid's. Yeah, there were more scarves in here that we never got to. So I will be bringing those tonight as well. So I will see you guys at the show. Make sure you bookmark it. And there is a coupon code down in the description. It, um, I'm sorry, it's a link. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Let me know what you think about the items that you saw in this video. Pretty cool stuff, right? Um, Again, there's that link down below that is going to take you to my show. It's also a referral link. So if you join with it, you're going to get $15 to shop. And I'm going to go work on the children's clothing video and hope to do that show Tuesday night. So if it is scheduled, go ahead and bookmark that one as well. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of video. Thanks for watching.